Okay, so when I was like eight, my dad took me surfing for the first time. I was pretty excited because, well, my dad's been surfing my entire life, and I was just kind of excited to do it. Like, I've gone surfing with him, like, on his board, but this was, like, my first time doing it by myself with my own board type thing. So we get to the beach, 6.15. You think eight-year-old me wanted to wake up at, like, five? The answer is no. I slept in the car, but I was still kind of mad that I was not even mad. I was just tired. So I get there. And, well, at 6.15, it's kind of cold outside, no matter what time of the year it is. It's summer, so it's like, I don't know, it's like 60-something degrees outside. It's cold. I know, if you live in, like, Canada, you're like, um, that's not cold. Shut up. It's cold. So, we get out, and my dad hands me the board. He's like, alright, you gotta chalk it up. So, I'm putting, like, the, it's actually, it's not even called chalk. I don't know, I don't know what it's, actually, I think it is called chalk. What it's, I don't care. It doesn't matter what it's called. It's the stuff you put on the board so you don't fall off. So my dad throws it at me. I'm chalk. I'm pretty sure it's called chalk. I'm chalking up my board. And so I'm chalking up my board. And I don't know what I'm doing. So I just chalk up the entire thing. My dad's yelling at me. He's like, yeah, it's way too much. But whatever. You know, it's already on there. We're not scraping it off. So my dad, you know, he's teaching me the basics. But I already know kind of the basics. So we get out in the water. And I'm like, because, you know, I'm eight. So I'm like small. So like the first tiny wave hits me. I'm not even out yet. The board goes flying because I have a little leash on so I could stay attached to it. But the the board goes down the beach or not down, like to the stupid shore and like pulls my leg, which I wasn't expecting. I fall in the water. I go, I get the stupid board. I'm just so like you lay on top of the board when you're deep enough and like you paddle out. So I'm laying on it. And my dad didn't teach me the way most people would have taught their kid. My dad didn't like, you know this is how you do this, this, no, he just gave me the board and was like, all right, you'll figure it out, so I'm like, by myself, my dad's like eight miles out, I can like see him, and he's getting all these big waves, I can't even get off the shore, so eventually, I'm at least far enough out to where I can actually get a wave, and I'm looking at these waves, and I'm like, it's not a good one, it's not a good one, so I'm just like sitting in the water, and my feet are in the water just kicking, and I kick something, so immediately, eight-year-old me started freaking out. I bring my feet up on the board real quick. I'm like, well, I guess this is going to become a paddle board because I'm not putting my feet back in the water. So I sit there for like 10 minutes, too scared to put my wa- my feet back in the water. My dad comes over to me. He's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I kicked something. He's like, okay. I'm like, well, I don't want to, like, what if it's a shark? My dad's like, it's not, it's not a shark. Like, no. I'm like, it could be. He's like, no, it's not. So my dad pushes me out with him. We're like... Like I said, like 85 miles off the shore. And the biggest wave of all, I'm pretty sure it was a tsunami, actually. Guaranteed it was a tsunami. This massive wave. I'm freaking out. My dad's like, paddle, paddle, paddle. So I start paddling. And I'm, I'm riding the wave for a solid 17 seconds before I flip, hit my face on the board. Like the top part where it's sharp. Hit my face on the board. The board goes flying over my head. My leg gets pulled up. And I get drugged to shore because of the board. Because I could not get back on the thing. And, um, yeah, my face was bleeding, and I was didn't want to surf anymore. Um, that's pretty much it. GG.